Tom Fondle. This is Are You Dumb on Black Guy White Movie. This week on Are You Dumb? See, what happens sometimes is we read some shit, we get emotional about it, and you don't really even look into it. Like, I've found myself on, in this fake news era on Facebook just reading some shit. One of my friends is commenting about it. They're upset. Then you actually look into it. It's not even a real fucking article. Somebody's just fucking with you. It's some piece from the onion. Whatever the fuck it is. People just wild out about stuff and never really even look in or research or do anything. And now they got a whole think piece about it up already. So that already happened this week with the whole how Gal Gadot didn't make as much as Henry Cavell, who plays Superman, in their first, in their first films, like their first respective films. So Wonder Woman didn't make as much as Superman, which we come to find out just isn't fucking true. Deadline has an article now that the drama that Wonder Woman's Gal Gadot is underpaid, is overinflated, and it's just pretty much dumb. Like, it's not even a real thing. The way fucking superhero movies work, or just movies, period, work, and especially at a time like this. So first of all, let me come out. Let me say the positivity first. So first of all, the movie, like, Patty Jenkins is crushing it. Uh, it's like the superhero film just eclipsed the uh, 609.8 million racked up by Mamma Mia. So now she's the, I think she's the highest grossing female director ever now. So crushing the game. But she got to deal with some shit where everyone's talking about gal salary, what was going on with that, how she didn't make as much as everybody else. It's craziness. So your first movie with these superhero films, it seems like everybody has just played a flat base rate of 300000 Chris Evans got this to be Captain America. They're saying him, Henry Cavell got this to be Cavill or however the fuck you say his name, got this as well to be Superman. It just happens. That's just your base salary. So regardless of what fucking happens with the movie, that's how much you're going to make. But at the same time, you get back in, you get bonuses, you get extra points. These days, you get shit for, like, you get money for going on Jimmy Kimmel. You get money for making sure you're not only at Jimmy Kimmel, but you also go do Conan. And then you go out to the West Coast and you do Fallon. Or, no, Kim, Kimmel's on the West Coast and then Fallon's on the East Coast. Whatever the fuck. You just get money for doing all types of marketing things now. So, really, Gal's going to make her money. <clears throat> Just like Chris Evans made his money, because now I think he's making about $7 million to do fucking Captain America, like just showing up as Captain America. So he'll, like she'll make her money as time goes on. Chris Evans has been in 27 goddamn Marvel movies now, so he's making his money. And the same thing with Superman. Like now he's starting to make his bread too. So that's just how it works. And it works like that in every fucking field. Like I don't know why people get with movies and suddenly they try to act like something is different when you go to your job or you go for a job interview or you even fill out a job application if you used to make 14 an hour and you put that down as like your past salary that next job is gonna maybe bump you to 15 but they're not gonna give you that much <clears throat> and it's the same shit with fucking films like they're just not gonna give you more than they think you deserve. If you were making two hundred thousand on your last movie, they might give you three hundred on this one and just see where it goes. For Gal, she was coming off being like the seventh lead on the Fast and the Furious movies, so they were like, "All right, we're gonna pay you this three hundred that we give everybody, and we'll give you escalators, and we'll go from there." But multiple outlets were just saying how she only made three hundred thousand. It was quote unquote journalist out here just shooting their shot, just trying to find any feminist angle that they could to just ride this wave of just anything Wonder Woman. It just had to have some feminist lean to it, and they overreached. And now, <clears throat> sorry for that, guys. So now the problem is anytime somebody reports some shit like this or some shit like this happens, now people are going to be less likely to even look into it or believe it or click on it because now you're just out here crying fucking wolf Every time you read some shit, it's not fucking true. That's not like, come on, guys, we got to work on this. We got to find a way for everybody to start taking their time before they post shit or tweet some shit. 
it's cool to just Google. Like, Google has been a friend to the world for a long time now. And I really need you guys to just start utilizing it a little bit more. Even you journalists, just use Google. Google is there. Like, even Bing. Like, I will even accept if you just just search something before you just come out here tweeting and doing op-eds and pieces and blogs. Like, just do something before you start this shit. Because every time now, they'll point back to this. Anytime somebody complains about a woman didn't make enough, they'll point back to this time when somebody overreacted about some bullshit. And it'll always be the same comeback. And it's going to be fucking annoying for you now. So for you dumb fucking people that were out here just spewing nonsense once again, I just have one fucking question for you. Are you dumb? Welcome to Black Guy White Movie with your host, Maxwell Michael Towson.